Hey guys, it's John, small town, small time reseller, and I'm here on a Monday night, taking a break from the Packers Lions game to come in here and tell you about some books I sold because I managed to sell some books. And when I do, sell them on eBay, I come in here, I tell you all about them. I don't do any garage sale videos, no GoPros at the Goodwill Bins looking at my wild weeping hands. Although I do love those videos and I watch them all the time. But just me telling you what I sold. And this week, da -da -da, da -da -da -da, I sold nine books. So this is after my, my most amazing weekend ever, last weekend. Uh, so this would be Tuesday through today. So it's a yeah, week. Uh, my man sold nine books this week uh, for a grand total of $220.15. Nowhere near the 550 or whatever it was I made last weekend. But a solid week nonetheless. It gave me some money to buy some baseball cards. So, hey, that's all I'm really after. So, let's go through them. Um, so, we started off with Escape the City, Volumes 1 and 2. I picked this up because it looked like a niche kind of a thing. Um, it's just kind of like rural farming and living off the grid and that kind of stuff. Um, it's kind of cool, actually. I, I thumbed through it quite a bit before I sold it. So those went for $30 for the two um, books. And so uh, those went to a buyer in Florida. Good job. Um, so the next one, I don't know why I said good job. Yeah, nice job buying my book there, Florida guy. Yeah. Um, next one was this one, Dr. Sebi Bible, a healing companion. This went for $18.50 to Louisiana. Oh, Escape the City was Goodwill Bins. So that was two books that cost me 30, 66 cents. And then um, the Dr. Sebi Bible was a, a bin drop in Lake Jackson. Uh, and that went for 50 cents. And that went to Louisiana. Religious books, I buy them a lot. They sell a lot. This was, I didn't even look through, I have no idea what Dr. who Dr. Sebi is or what his or why he called it a Bible, and why it's a healing companion, and what you're healing from, I don't know. But it looked like something somebody would need. Um, the next one, there was a bunch of music books at the Goodwill Bins, like, like a stack of them. They each had like a dollar sticker on them, so obviously somebody had them at a garage sale. They didn't sell, and I picked them up. There was, there was Eagles, and there was um, some Eric Clapton, and a lot of classic rock kind of stuff. And um, one of them that sold, was like the next day I listed it, was this one. Everclear music. Um, this is a book for for guitar. Went for eleven dollars fifty cents to Indiana. I don't actually do real well with um, a lot of the music books. Actually, my brother visited a week ago, and and I just gave him a bunch that I had took them off that I had listed for months and months and months. And I said, "You want these? Take them." Um, but this one actually did sell, and another one did too. Um, but that will be a couple more down the list here. So. The next one, 50 cents, cracking the PM interview. Um, $7, went to California. This was, um, usually, this would be like the minimum. If, if it's not, if when I look them up, usually if they're, $7 is about the minimum that I'll sell a book for. If, it's, if there's others up on eBay for less than $7, I, I'll just re-donate it. Um, I usually don't bother with that. Uh, but that was probably, you know, seven bucks since it went to California. It had an envelope that size, and so it was fine. Um, the next one, Trauma Treatment Toolbox, $17.50 to New Mexico. Educational, medical, those things sell, I'm telling you. Um, here's the other music book that sold. Now, this one surprised me, Buck Cherry. Buck Cherry sold for 40 bucks. Had a dollar price tag on it. It didn't sell at someone's garage sale. I pick it up for 33 cents. I managed to sell it for $40. I think I sold it the same day I listed it. It went fast. I had it up for 49 because there was one sold comp for that one for 49. So I put mine up for 49. Somebody offered me 40. Um, that went just an hour up the road. Went into Houston for that one. That's where the person who bought it lives. Um, the next one. So this book I had, it's called Paradiso, a verse translation. Um, I had this up for $45. I bought this one actually at a at a, uh, a thrift store in, in Freeport. Um, and I don't know how much I paid for it because there's a bunch of stuff I got, but a dollar to two dollars, somewhere around there. And it's a really nice clean copy. It's a beautiful book. Um, 
I've had it for quite a while sitting there and somebody messaged me and said, Hey, would you sell this to, would you ship this to Australia? Let me know how much. So what I did, I just went in and turned on eBay international shipping and messaged the guy back, decided to turn on international shipping. He bought it right away, $45. And it charged him $24 for shipping. Well, the problem is I usually, when I put the weights in for books, when I'm, <laughs> I'm never real accurate because I often don't know how much packaging it'll take. I usually just guess. And I knew this one was light. And usually some of the heavier books I'll purposely put in light because I'll charge $4. They'll pay $4 shipping. I may have to cover another two. That's fine. You know, that way I'm still not charging 7 or $8 shipping like somebody else might. I'm only charging 3 or 4 I'll cover a couple bucks. But going to Australia, that made a big difference. It was $55. When I went to go in and print the ticket, I was like, print, put it in the weight. 55 bucks, And the guy paid 24 so 31 dollars more so i contacted ebay asking what i could do they said you can ask the buyer to to uh pay for it just go through paypal it seemed kind of weird that they would just do it through paypal and there's not like a process in ebay for when that happens but there is before they pay but after he paid and that's when i realized what the shipping was going to be so I did. I contacted him and he's like, yeah, that seemed pretty cheap, actually. So I don't mind paying the extra. And I gave him, I sent through PayPal. I did a request and he paid right then $31 more. And so I'm shipping that one out. But so I got, you know, that was a $45 for that one. Um, and uh, the guy paid an awful lot in shipping. But I was going to Australia. So that's my story for today. Um, the next one, real food for pregnancy. Um, another one of these type of books that somebody needs, right? So uh, this one, $15 to South Carolina. And then the last one just sold today. Had this one up for quite a while, this Elliot Porter book. It's a beautiful book of photographs. It's also signed by Elliot Porter. And for some reason, I had this up for 49 maybe. I can't remember what I had it up for. But somebody offered me $43.65. So I took it. $43.65. And that went to Michigan. So, big totals for this week. Nine books. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you count two volumes of that Escape the City. But we'll call that as one sale. So, nine sales for $220.15. Average is $25.35 a book. And my cost was $6.33 that I had into those books. So, yeah. Um, been a good week. Survived the hurricane. Had no power for about a day. Not even that long. Some people had, were out of power the whole week. We were out for about a day. Sat right there. Right there and watched my willow tree fall down in the storm, which was terrible. Had a bunch of limbs down. Part of the fence down. Other than that, doing fine. So, um, that's my week. Hope you all have a good week. Good rest of the week. I will see you hopefully sooner rather than later. Probably be about a week from now when I do another one of these. Unless I have some wild crazed hinge where I sell a bunch of expensive things quickly. And if so, I'll be back sooner. But otherwise, I will see you guys later. Have a good one. Adios.